In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use an FTP program. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it's simply a client that allows you to save your web pages from your computer to your web host or the remote site or the remote server. Those are words that are used kind of interchangeably. The first thing you need to do is download FileZilla, and FileZilla is spelled just like this. I'm hovering it over so you can see. Just go to Google, type in FileZilla, you'll see the site, you can download I think it's like FileZilla-project.org or something like that. Um, you download it, install it, then you'll need to take a trip over to your web host and create an FTP account. And now all that is, it's just a username and a password that you'll need to use an FTP program and save the files to your server. So once you've, done, once you've done that, you'll open up FileZilla and you'll come over here to the host and you'll enter your host name which is usually yourdomain.com or sometimes it's ftp.yourdomain.com you will have to check with your web host to see which one will work here sometimes both will work other times only one but you can either test it out yourself or just contact your host and they'll be able to tell you then here you're gonna enter your username which is the username that you created when you created your FTP account with your host and then lastly your password again whatever you set up at your host then once you've done that, you're going to come over here and hit Quick Connect, and then you're going to connect to your web server. Okay, so once you've selected Quick Connect, now you're connected to your web host. So before getting into uploading files, let's take a look at the FileZilla user interface. You'll see four quadrants here, one, two, three, and four. The left side is your local machine. So this is your hard drive, and as you can see, it says local site and then it's got C users which is my hard drive up here are the folders down here are the files so when you click build you'll see all the files that show up that are in the build folder so if I go up here to books it'll change and you'll see there'll be more folder more files down here so folders at the top files at the bottom this is your local hard drive on the right side you've got your remote site or your web host so these are the live files that are on your server right now so again you click you know the corresponding folder and the files that are live that are on your server right now show up so now you've kinda got a mirror image of the local site and the remote site now if you're just getting started you probably won't have a lot of files over here on the remote side because you haven't uploaded anything yet me my sites old so I've got you know a lot of content so that's why you see all the files on the right side so when you're ready to save a file to your web server you'll navigate to the folder where you've saved the web file in this example I've saved it in the folder called build so I click that folder and then come down here and I'm gonna select the file that I want to save and if you want to do multiple files you can hold down the control key and just click 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 and if you want to cancel that just re release the control key and click your mouse and go back to the one file so when you're ready to upload that file and now since since this file already exists I wanna make sure that I'm in the right folder so I wanna make sure I'm actually on the in the build folder on my remote site so make sure you click that and you know you make sure you're already in the correct folder so I've done that so now I'm in the same folder on both sides so I go to hex colors and I right click and I'm gonna say upload and it's gonna prompt me because this file already exists and it wants to make sure that I wanna overwrite it so I say yes and I'm gonna go OK and then that uploads the file to my web server so now when I go to mydomain.com slash build slash hexcolor.html that file that I just uploaded will be there pretty easy huh so I hope you learned a lot and that's how you use an FTP program and I will see you in the next tutorial